Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be your career and finance reading for April, May, and June of 2021. So Aries, without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Guys, guardians, ancestors, angels, and ancient gods, please give me clear and concise messages for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their career and finance for April, May, and June of 2021. 21. What do you see for Aries regarding their career and finances for April, May, and June 2021? Hang on. Did something flip here? I thought I saw something flip. Oh, I must have just done a cartwheel. Okay. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> got going here if I need to pull some more I'll pull some more okay okay so at this point in time you guys are feeling a little bit defensive um, you might be getting towards the end of your savings or you're not sure what's going on financially um, I'm getting I'm getting a feeling of panic for some of you Um, like you're, you're trying to stand on your own two feet. You're trying your best to be independent, but it's like, I'm getting a little bit of panic because it's like, okay, you might also be in a relationship with someone. Now this is a finance reading, but you might be in a relationship with someone where it's like, they may not be pulling their weight financially. And you're getting a little defensive because you're like, Hey, you know, I'm the one that's pulling in everything here. How about you help out a little bit? Okay. So I'm, I'm getting that somebody might be in that situation as well. Okay. Then we have the Knight of pentacles here. Okay. You are always viewed as the reliable one, the trustworthy one, always being constant in the situation. Um, now, this could be, again, it's a general reading, so it's however it resonates with you. Um, you might be feeling defensive because, you know, you're all alone. You may not be in a relationship and you're just like, shit, okay, what's going on financially? What am I going to do here? And you have somebody that you trust, somebody that's reliable, you know, that is always there when you need them male or female, it doesn't matter. And they're going to help you here. Okay. Eight of pentacles. Okay. So this is definitely, um, hard work doing something. This, this is, um, also like an apprenticeship card. So somebody's going to be offering you some kind of work. This can also be freelance. Okay. So I'm getting, you might be doing some freelance stuff. This could be like Uber or, or anything freelance work, you know, things online, doing side jobs and stuff like that. You know, somebody that you rely on is going to be possibly the one that's giving you the side work or introducing you to, you know, hiring you or something like that, or giving you a heads up as to where you can go and start working someplace. And like I said, it's an apprenticeship card as well. So this is starting like at the bottom, starting fresh entry level. Okay. Now, if you are the one that feels you're the independent one, you know, always the one that everyone relies on being the supportive one, you know, and you're getting a little defensive because you're like, you know what, I would like some help too. Why is it always all on my shoulders? You know, this is a bit much. You are going to be feeling, and you're going to also have the opportunity over the next few months, April, May, and June, to just put in those hours, okay? Um, I, I'm not going to get into, because this is, I'm just focusing on career and finance, but if this resonates with you and you want a private reading, you can go to zenwithinme.com and purchase one. Um, but I feel that you, you're like, yeah, well, you know, what else is new? I'm the one that's going to have to do it, so let me just go and do it, and you're just going to be pulling in over time. Okay, so let's, let's see what else. Let's see what else. All right. At least you, as much as it sucks to have to, you know, have the weight of the world on your shoulders, at least you have the opportunity trying to see the bright side of it that you can pull in over time and make that extra money as opposed to like financially drowning where that's unfortunately the situation for some other people. Or if you're in a panic that, you know, you're running out of money, somebody is going to come in and help you in some way and you're going to be able to start making money. Um, for some, I'm getting it might be a job of labor, um, but it's going to be a lot of hard work. It could be hours you're not used to. It could be a commute, but you know you're you're going to be busting your butt. 
Okay, so what other messages do we have for Aries regarding their career and finances for um, April, May, June 2021? All right, thank you. All right, let's see. What do we got here? So we have children. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. So you might be doing something with like babysitting or um, what's, I just had it in my head, uh, babysitting or... Um, Oh my God, what's it called when uh, I I just completely forgot. I had it in my head and then I just completely forgot it. Um, daycare. You might be doing like a daycare. Okay, something to do with children. So you're either going to be babysitting or doing like a daycare. Uh, strength. Everything you've experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. So for those of you that feel the weight of the world... You know, you're kind of in that mindset like, well, you know, I'm always independent. I'm always doing it. So as much as it sucks, whatever, let me just get it done, you know. And infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. So you do have money coming in here. So I'm not seeing anybody holding the short end of the stick here, regardless of what your situation is and how this resonates with you. Okay. All right. Let's get some more messages here for Aries. Sun, moon, rising regarding their career and finances for April, May, June, 2021. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I like that one that flipped. You guys are going to love this. Hold on. <laughs> I'll read the flipper first. All right. So we have treasure chest. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. All right. And then we have infinite abundance, treasure chest. So you're going to have a lot of money coming in here. So when you're concerned about money, you're almost in a panic. It's going to flow. You're going to be fine. Just be strong and hang in there. It's coming. Self-forgiveness. Let go of old guilt and remember that you're God's perfect child. So I'm going to leave that message like that for whoever it resonates and however it resonates with you. Let yourself receive. Allow others to give you loving care, receive without guilt or apologies. So you may actually have someone here, Mr. Reliable, Mrs. Reliable, okay, this independent person that's, that's always there when you need them. You might be defensive like, oh, you might be the type of person, which I really want to point out. Check out my um, reading that I just posted. Well, not a reading. Let me rephrase that. Uh, my video that I posted, Law of Attraction Lesson 1, okay? You do not want to be the type of person that's like, wow, you know, the universe isn't giving me enough abundance. But then when somebody offers to help you, oh, no, 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 I'll do it myself. I got this because you got your pride. Your pride is getting in the way. The universe is not, you know, um, deterring from giving you things. You spiritually have your hand out saying, no, I'll do it myself. I'll get it myself. So every time you say that, I have in that Lesson one, be mindful of the words you use and the things that you say. Go and check it out. You are telling the universe, I don't want help. I'll do it myself. And you're making things more difficult for yourself. Okay? So stop doing that. And this is perfect to get this card. This is exactly what I'm saying. Let yourself receive. So stop being defensive against somebody that is trying to help you, you know, work harder, make money, get abundance. Because you're trying to be strong and independent. You're still strong and independent, but if somebody wants to help you, allow it. Let yourself receive. Why, why does everything have to be a struggle with you and why does it have to be so hard? You know, you can have help. It doesn't make you any less strong, okay? Worthiness. Know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. So you might subconsciously think like, oh, well, no, I don't deserve it. I have to work hard. I have to prove myself. Again, it's all mindset. You can get a handout here and there. And it's not even really that it's a handout. If you look at your life, if you're the type of person that you're always independent, you're always busting your ass, you're always doing things yourself, This you're worthy to have a break. That's basically what it is. I shouldn't say handout because talking with you guys specifically that are in that mindset, you're going to see that as a negative thing. And I didn't mean it that way. You are worthy of just having it easy once in a while because you've already earned it. Okay. So change that mindset. It doesn't make you weak. It doesn't make you less strong. You've earned to have shit come to you easy sometimes. 
because you've already put in the hard work. The universe is trying to help you, allow them to help you have it easy sometimes, all right? There's no question of your hard work and your integrity and your strength. So don't do it to yourself because you're doing it to yourself when you smack those hands away that are trying to help you, okay? Some of you, I'm hearing, some of you may be concerned about people around you. You can't please everybody. And there's a lot of people, they talk a lot of shit around you, you know, around all of us that, you know, they're jealous, envious, whatever the case may be. The big picture here, the universe sees the truth. And as long as you know it and the universe knows it, don't worry about everybody else because you were born by yourself. You're going to die by yourself. And that's, that's the way it is. So don't worry about trying to please everyone. You want to please those in your circle that matter to you most, you know, you value their opinion and, and stuff like that. That's fine. Everybody else, it doesn't matter. They can go fly a kite. Okay. Cause at the end of the day, if they're not paying your bills and they genuinely don't care about you, then why does their opinion matter so much? All right. So don't beat yourself up. Don't do that to yourself. That's not good. All right. What are the messages do we have for Aries regarding their career and finances for April, May, and June, 2021? Okay. So I'm using my Lenormand deck here. Um, I haven't used them in a while, so just bear with me. Okay. All right. So these aren't bad cards at all. All right. So let's see. We have the road here. That's actually a good card. That uh, signifies change. Let me just find it here. Okay. Yeah. New direction, travel, changes. Okay. But it's a good thing. And then it's next to this beautiful blossoming tree. Okay. Symbolic of growth, state of affairs, still growing and becoming stronger. Okay. So you're going to be going through a, ch a change, but it's a good change. It's, it's growth and it's going to help you be stronger financially. Okay. Now with the clouds here, this is your thoughts, possibly worries, um, you and your head being negative. Okay. Don't think that way because you're, what you're thinking is actually assisting in your manifestation at this time. And you don't want to have negative thoughts in your head. That's going to now screw up this positive change that's blossoming and helping you financially grow stronger because you're in your head with these thoughts of, well, I'm not worthy. You know, I, I have to do it myself. So don't, don't do that because this, this can be positive or negative. It's up to you. This is your thoughts, what's in your mind. So if you have that positive mindset and you say, you know what? No, I, I do deserve this. I will accept that. Thank you very much. I'm very grateful. You know, make sure you always say you're grateful. Make sure you say thank you three times, you know, the power of three. Everybody has their own beliefs and ways of doing things. I'm just uh, letting you know how I do things. Um, I'm in a happy place, you know. Of course, we always feel, regardless of what we're dealing with, whether it's love, money, whatever, we always feel we can have more because that's just the way we are brainwashed in this life. But you have to be grateful for the things that you already have. Don't focus on the past. Don't worry so much on the future. You got to live in the now. Be happy for what you have now. Now, it's, it's you, you can feel the now. You know what I mean? Your now creates your future. Forget the, the past. It's over and done with. You can't do anything about it. All right. So keep a positive mindset and things will continue to grow abundantly for you as you, you know, go on this, this uh, new road, this new path, going through this change, whatever, it, whatever, excuse me, it may be. Okay. So let's see. I use these. I use these. I use these. Use these. Okay. So now we're going to my initials, traits, and features Oracle deck. I'm just going to use the initials parts. If you want to buy this deck, I have the link down below in the description box. Just click that little arrow there and it'll open it up. Um, I'm giving for the month of April, everybody that buys my Oracle deck, a free gift only for the month of April, 2021. All right. So now let's see what letters come out to help describe a person, place or thing, your situation, or they can also be initials of someone or something. Okay. Sometimes the cards will spell things out. You need to find something that's been lost. These cards are excellent for that too. It's helped quite a few people actually. Um, and you do not have to be psychic to use these cards. 
these cards um, connect you with your guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels that are with you on a daily basis anyway. So it's extremely safe. You're not opening a portal or anything like that, like a Ouija board. This is just communicating with your peeps. You're good, okay? And you don't have to be psychic. Just, you know, look at the cards and see, okay, well, what messages come through to me? What, what, what do I first think of? And that's actually the communication coming from your spirits. Okay, so we have an X here. This can, I'm getting X factor, also an X. So this may have something to do with an X. Uh, maybe you're still friends with an X, or this can be an X employer, okay, that you might be going back to, that might be offering you a position. Um, maybe you got let go, you got laid off, and they're calling you back in, and you might be a little like, mm, I don't know, you know, defensive here. But whatever, like I said, however it resonates. Then we have Q and N. Now these can be separate, Q, N. But I'm getting here something with queen or queens or however it resonates. Okay, then we have B. So we have BX. So this could be somebody in the Bronx, something to do. I'm seeing like the tri-state area. We got queens coming through. We got Bronx coming through. It could be anywhere. F. I'm just from New York, so this is my go-to. FG. Okay, so however these resonate with you, F, Q, N, G, B, X. Could be the name of a job, the initials of someone that's going to hire you, however it works, okay? All right, so those are your messages, Aries. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Click the bell, select all, so that this way you will be notified every time I post a video. Uh, check out the Law of Attraction Lesson 1. I just posted that a couple days ago. Check out... All the links in my description box. You want to buy the deck? Check me out on Wizio, TikTok for daily content. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.